was a hard day on the Australian share market with a fall of 2.3% for the ASX 200. We did see China summoning the US ambassador and a deterioration of US-China relations which weighed on the market. But we also saw a weak lead coming through from the US on Friday with the S&P 500 dropping 2.3%. Non-farm payroll numbers disappointing with 155,000 jobs being added. That number weaker than expected but strong enough to reinforce the expectation that we'll see another rate hike from the US in December. Across the market, every single sector traded lower, but the worst performing sectors were information technology, healthcare, as well as the financial sectors, which lost more than 3%. We did see the material sector outperforming, helped along by the gold subsector, which was a bright spot on the market with a gain of 2.2%. There was also a lot of company news to absorb on the market, as well as economic data around the region. Having a look at economic data, and we did see some China numbers over the weekend and inflation numbers disappointing. Inflation in China for the month of November coming in at 2.2%. That was weaker than expectations of 2.4%. The producer price index came in on expectations at 2.7%. We also saw Japan GDP numbers weaker than expected on an annualized basis. We saw a loss of 2.5% compared to a loss of 2%, which was expected. Having a look in Australia though, the economic data was stronger than expected with home loan numbers seeing a bounce. We saw a rise of 2.2% compared to an expectation of a decline of 0.4% for the month of November. Having a look at company news and we saw IOOF shares taking another tumble down by 7% as it announced an acting CEO and chairman. We also saw uh, shares of Bank of Queensland coming under pressure, the shares down by 3.2%. The company saying that the sale of its St Andrews insurance division would no longer go ahead to Freedom Insurance. And we did see Telstra shares dropping 1.3% but beating the market after it was successful in the 5G spectrum auction. It now has 60 megahertz of continuous continuous 5G spectrum in major capital cities as well as 30 to 80 megahertz in regional centers. So all in all a pretty difficult day on the Australian share market although we did see gold outperforming and we are seeing US futures down by 0.8% pointing to another difficult session in the US tonight.